Hi pals, this week on Go With The Heat, we break down one of the all-time greatest episodes of Miami Vice in Out Where The Buses Don't Run. On this week in Vice, we'll be covering the two weeks that passed between episodes two and three of the second season of Miami Vice, from October 6th to October 19th, 1985, when Miami Vice was king. In news, October 9th is the birthday of the one and only John Lennon. On what would have been Lennon's 45th birthday, New York Mayor Ed Koch and Yoko Ono dedicated the Central Park Memorial Strawberry Fields. Located at Central Park West and West 72nd Street, the memorial includes a mosaic including the word Imagine from his famous song and also named for the Beatles song Strawberry Fields Forever, written by Lennon. In music, after three weeks at the top, Money for Nothing finally gives up the top spot of the Hot 100. Moving up to number one is Oh Sheila by the electro-funk band Ready for the World. This dance song wouldn't be the only top song of the band, but by the end of 1986, they were a distant memory of the mid-80s. Oh, In movies, Supplanting Invasion USA at the top of the box office is a real action movie. One of the best action movies from the 80s and an example for why the 80s was the greatest decade of action movies ever. The outstanding action flick, Commando, starring Arnold Schwarzenegger, Radon Chong, Alyssa Milano, and Miami Vice's own Dan Hedaya would show Chuck Norris just how it's done. I'm obviously a fan of this movie and I wish the action genre can find some of this magic again. And that's everything you need to know that was happening when Miami Vice was king. Be sure to join us on Go With The Heat. We're preparing for our first episode that revolves totally around Trudy in the episode The Dutch Oven. I'd love to hear from you too. Have some love for Commando? Email the show at GoWithTheHeat at gmail.com or follow me on Twitter at Dom Corvo. That's all for this week. Bye pals.